Hello, thank you for watching this video on how to make a paper plate donut. So first thing that you need, of course, is a paper plate. You need some glue, you need some um, paint, either brown paint, or if you don't wanna use paint, a brown marker or a brown crayon. You want some pink paper or any other color that you want for your frosting. I also have some glitter and some tissue paper. If you don't have either of those, you can always use some colored paper. Um, this will come in at the end. Uh, this is just going to be how you decorate your donut. So first, before I get started, is I want to make, I want to kind of do my little donut hole here. So I just have a an old plastic cup here. So I'm going to trace trace my donut hole. So I know that I don't have to color there, um, but if I overlap, it's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my crayon and color the donut. It's a plain donut right now, but we will decorate it. So if you do decide to get out brown paint, uh, you wanna make sure that it's completely dry before you start cutting it out, because then it'll get, if it's not dry enough, it'll definitely ruin your donut. All right, so get that whole thing colored. There we go. And then for the middle, you can do it a couple different ways. You can do it like I did and I traced it. You can fold it in half and just cut it out that way. Um, it's really up to you. You do want to make sure that an adult does this. So this is going to be a little bit too difficult for really little kids. Um, you want to make sure that you don't cut yourself, obviously. But you just want to cut out your donut hole here. Right in the middle. Okay. There you go. There's your donut. So now we have to put on the, the icing and the sprinkles. So if you've painted it brown and you want to do the, the icing and paint as well, you can paint right over top of it, but just make sure that it's, again, that it's totally dry. Since I decided not to paint and I just am going to use a piece of paper, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, let's see, maybe if we do this. I'm going to try to kind of guess my way around here. I can feel where the paper is, so I'm just kind of making a squiggly line like that. That's going to be my, you want to kind of, with the paper, you want to kind of do it on top of this like that. But you want to make sure you're tracing it over top of these little ridges here because you don't want it to go all the way to the edge. We're just going to have it go, you know, a little bit in. And then I'm gonna have my, the center here, so it's the same as my donut hole. So you can go ahead and cut that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make, I'm just tr trying to make it look like the icing on the donut. So I chose pink, but you could of course choose any color that you want, whatever kind of donut icing that you like. Some people like chocolate icing, some people like vanilla, some don't like any icing at all. So this can be in any any design. Just want to make it kind of look like some icing. So I'm going to take this and again I'm going to cut out this middle part where our donut hole is. You can also piece this together. You don't have to do this approach that I'm doing. You can um, just take strips of paper even and just lay them on top and that can become your icing as well. So there I've got my little bit of icing on my, I went a little skimpy on my icing, but that's okay. So I'm going to get my stick glue out and I'm gonna glue my icing to my donut.
I'm gonna match up the hole here, donut hole. There we go, there's my little bit of icing. And then the last part is you get to put your, your sprinkles on your icing. So I'm going to use some white glue, some Elmer's glue here, and then I'm gonna use some tissue paper. But you can use regular paper, you can use actual sprinkles if you want. Um, you can use some glitter. So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna make sure that I have it. I'm gonna kinda do this all over my frosting area here. Get it nice and covered because I'm gonna put a lot of sprinkles on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some sprinkles. I'm using some tissue paper for my sprinkles. You can do, I like to put this on first and then you can put some glitter or actual sprinkles on second because then what that does is it fills in the little spots that you've missed. You can get your your fake sprinkles all over here. Different colors. I just happen to have pink and yellow on hand, but you can use any color you want. Put a little bit more here, and then I'm gonna come through with some glitter. And this will be some of my fake sprinkles as well. There we go. Kind of move it around a little bit. If you don't want to use use glitter, that's entirely fine. I know glitter gets everywhere when you use it, so you don't have to use glitter, but it is kind of a fun way to make your donut. So once your glitter has dried a little bit, you want to tap it off into back into the container. So there you have it. There is a paper donut with sprinkles.